Hi guys! What's up? What's up? I haven't uploaded a video for a week because I have been in New York City. So it's Sunday today. I just got home and I want to share a video with you guys, which means I'm gonna unbox all the things I bought during the past week. I went to New York City because I helped my uh, best friend to move out of her Manhattan apartment to Jersey City and um, so the first couple of days were so sweaty, heavy but luckily we got it down and I went to Soho for shopping. These are my damages I want to show you and my husband also went to uh, came to pick me up on Friday. We spent two days there. We went to some Korean style spa and we ate a lot of good food. So I really want to show you guys the footage and also just uh, unbox these items with me. It's gonna be a really fun video. Oh right, I also received some new packages from some new makeup launches and we're gonna take a look at those as well. Let's get started. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about my husband's purchases. There are two items, but don't take it wrong way. They are both major <laughs> in terms of the price tag. So he, uh, I bought a jacket for him. He wasn't uh, in New York City yet, uh, so I went ahead and just purchased the jacket on his behalf. I know what he wears in this brand, so I pick out the style and grab the right size. And I was a little bit worried it won't fit, but when he came on Friday, wow, it fits like a glove and the style is just perfect. It's really basic, but it's like a daily staple, kind of a uh, fleece ja jacket. The second one, oh my God, it is an electric guitar. So to your surprise, he's like a really professional ele electric guitar player player I'm sorry um, he has been playing electric guitar since he was like 12 and the last one he had for 14 or 16 16 years and he has been hunting for a new one ever since but uh, this time in New York City we ha had our luck look at this goat and you know this one it's especially the um, details on the neck of this guitar it is so smooth it is so well handmade that he told me because I'm I, I know nothing about electric guitars but he told me that he feel like he has a skill boost instantly so this is how the new guitar gives him and he has been sleeping with his guitar ever since I'm not even kidding I'm really happy for him yeah Next up, we have some makeup and skincare. I went to the Sephora store on uh, 34th Street in Manhattan, and this is supposed to be the largest store in Manhattan of Sephora, so I had a lot of fun there. I don't mind, and I grabbed one of the daily staple of my skincare, the um, moisturizer from Biosense, and I saw this new hyaluronic acid serum from Dermalogica. Um, based on my past impression and experience with my, uh, Dermalogica, which is really good, my skin reacts to their um, formulations and formulas really well, so I purchased this new serum. I've been using them for the past week in New York City and it has been working out. I love it. It's really lightweight. It really kept my skin moisturized, but I will wait until I empty this one bottle to give you my final thoughts on that. But so far, so good. And I purchased three other makeup items. I saw Sai, this clean makeup brand that I bragged about in my last, like the Hailey Bieber style clean makeup kind of a look. I really want to try their highlighter, liquid highlighter, because I find it it's probably most like closest to Lisa Eldridge's face highlighter. And I saw this in Star Glow, so how could I miss it? I wouldn't miss it for the world. It is really that soft glow within kind of a highlighter. I'm still using it. I'm experienced the subtle differences or are they really dupes for each other? I will give you my conclusion later. I grabbed one of their liquid blush as well. This color is in rosy. I find myself really in love with these peachy, um, you know, youthful kind of a blush shade recently. 
because of that liquidy uh, clean makeup look but I really really love this color it's called rosy and last one it's the newest um, Dior matte lipstick supposed to stay for over 16 hours I think it stayed for quite a long time when I went out shopping like the entire day but I went went for some a uh, hot pot which is really you know um, kind of a challenge to your makeup and it didn't stay afterwards because maybe because of how oily that kind of a uh, hot pot is but I was still really impressed but most importantly I love the color forever cherry this is so beautiful I find it kind of like a peony kind of very pink red uh, I love how saturated the redness is in this shade it gives you that instant boost of a um, glow i don't know but i really love this color um what do you guys think this is my favorite out of all that i swatched for that day it was really a happy experience shopping there it's like a dream come true seriously so yeah these are the makeup products i also had a, uh, a few other items which i purchased from a really famous Japanese store called Mitsuwa in Jersey City if you have been there you know what I'm talking about they have all the Japanese foods Japanese makeup Japanese books bookstore so I actually got a Japanese magazine a makeup magazine uh, from them and what I loved about it is there's a little booklet in here which gives you the newest launches of the major makeup brands no matter it's Chanel, Glen, um, Dior, Gucci, or the local Japanese ones like Suku, Lunaso, and they have all these, um, you know, summarized, uh, all summed up for you. I really loved it, and I also want to have that sense of Japanese kind of a makeup, kind of, you know, a touch to my knowledge. I, I, I could use some of that. I really want to learn about different styles of makeup, different concepts of makeup, and these local magazines in Japanese will give me no nothing other than that and although I don't really know ner <coughs> know and learn Japanese but I can actually you know tell some of the sentence meanings by half of the Chinese characters they use in their language but I guess ma mainly I'll just look at the pictures I think there's no language when it comes to beauty as long as you're looking at the pictures you probably get what's going on right um but yeah that's uh, the the little goodies i got from them i also had some two little japanese style stuff i have this um makeup cotton which is really um interesting it is like a longer version of your typical makeup cotton and i really want to use this to do some DIY kind of a facial where you dip this into your toner or essence or oil and you put it on your all of your face like a Just wrap it up and let it stay for a while and this will just do the work because it's like long and it's like super slick so it will stick to your nose your face all the curves on your face and I think it will do the job I'll, I'll, I'll update you guys on that and I also went to the Korean spa across from Mizua. It's called Sojo. If you have been there, you know how fun it is. Uh, basically, you go in there. There is a pool. There is like th uh, like um, quite warm kind of a pools, and there are high hydrotherapy kind of pools where the the waters are coming in through really strongly it's like a massage with water pressure i love that and you have these um rooftop pool where the view is across over the hudson river you can oversee the manhattan city it's mind-blowing and i really enjoyed my time there most importantly i love their saunas like all the different kinds of saunas they have cargo sauna they have a white clay sauna they have different kinds of salt, salt sauna and they have different temperatures i really steamed myself quite good and i really loved it it was such an experience uh, five out of five to recommend you guys to try it out. It's in Jersey City across from Mitsuwa after you 
being you know doing some spa there you can go across from it to Mizuwa have some Japanese food a little bit Japanese goodie shopping but yeah it's a fun time next up we have all the clothing uh, first of all I bought this pair of jeans a gold day did I pronounce that right it's like a straight leg kind of a style and I really love the color of it at first I thought the waist is a little bit too loose and too big because there's like a huge gap here but when I try on a smaller size it won't fit I might crash so it's a bit too tight but the whole point of this kind of style is to wear it loose or otherwise you lose the very chic and you know kind of a relaxed style so I chose this 24 and I really love this washed kind of a color it's so chic I can imagine myself wearing this jeans with every any kind of a top because it's just so very nice so I'm pairing it with two basic t-shirts I got from collection of style cost um, these are really like like not very expensive but they look like they are because the cotton or whatever um, and I don't know how it would stand after being washed but so far it is really structured it really has that thick quality to it but it's not like heavy so you can really wear this in the summer I love I love this jeans anyways let's try on the items I bought a pair of Vija shoes uh, this brand I'm not familiar uh, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it but this is a French brand I went to their Soho flagship store I waited in line the whole store is like a concept uh, the reception like staff was on the exchange program from fr France so he just got here he was spoken French English and we were like communicating at our best but still uh, I really loved Vija because I bought a pair of sneakers from them a couple of years ago it was so comfortable to wear even on the first try and I love their concept to source their materials their labor in South America uh, Amazon and so yeah I love to support a brand that's uh, really clear and conscious con uh, like on their conscious social consci conscience um, and I bought this pair it is uh, such a classic white sneaker I feel like it will go with everything again just like my jeans I am a pra practical girl so you know I bought a jacket from my and this is also another French brand why I'm buying all these French clothes anyways my has this huge cell and I bought a kind of like a tweed jacket in the hot summer time I know but the price is unbeatable it went straight from $700 to like $250 with tax after of course but it's like a huge discount and I really love the um, tweed style the color it's like a really baby green with some white and I love the little cooler style here it's detachable so you can definitely take it off and be Come that classic tweed jacket but with this little style here lifting up this jacket will become more versatile and more like outgoing I don't know I always feel like tweed uh, kind of a material will just instantly make you feel you're mature you're serious however this kind of a color it will get you will get you more vibes you know just youthful vibes per se and I really love this jacket it paired well with my jeans and I love it I can't wait for September to come to wear this jacket and next up I have four items for this another French brand called Cezanne this brand is known for its knit wear and um, they have this huge um, closet or drawer of full of their knit wear where if you want to try out some styles really high up there the staff would def will literally go on this ladder and get it for you so luckily they're so helpful and so friendly I kept asking for different styles kept trying on and finally I had this very classic um, this is floral kind of blouse I think this kind of a floral blouse is really common you see everywhere with every brand but once when I put on this one from Suzanne 
I got the hype. It's really hyped up in, uh, especially in Xia Hongshu, little uh, the red book, uh, with my Chinese girls, and really love this brand. Now I get the hype because this blouse, the details is unbeatable, and it's just so very French, classic, effortless chic, and I have two knitwear. Oh, again, it's some hot summertime, but I figured this is their signature. I'm here, why not? And I have this fuchsia color. This is like a cotton material, so it doesn't get really warmed up in there. Rather, with all the you know neat, uh, the, the 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 different neat patterns, the air goes in, so it definitely works like a jacket uh, in summertime when you're in the AC room or. You know, it's really just all season kind of a jacket, a knit jacket, and the white one, uh, on the other hand, is definitely more of a alpaca kind of a material. So it does get warmed up in there. I figure it will be better for you to wear it in spring or um, autumn. I really love the sleeve a bit. It's like a shorter sleeve. It it is. It's like a puffy sleeve and what I love the most about it is it's button like the white button it's like a marble kind of a stone definitely doesn't have the marble stone kind of a weight but it has that style I tried on the black color of this style the button is different so I can't I have to choose this white color I thought black would work well on me as well but I thought it has the same button I'll go for the black but no Definitely no, and I also got like a short sleeve green uh, neat top as well. This is really a classic, or should I say mature kind of a style, so you really have to choose the right bottom or like hairstyle to go with this top, otherwise it will make you feel like um, not in your I don't know, I don't know how to say it, but you have to style this top right so that it comes out as that French girl. Uh, South France countryside stuff. And these are all the clothing I purchased from my NYC trip. But I also have another French brand coming. This is my handbag. I got one uh, classic style from Celine. And this is called the Ava shoulder bag. This is really classic and really in style and popular these days. On these days alone in NYC, no matter Manhattan or the Jersey City where my friends moved to, I've saw, I've seen lots, lots of girls with this bag, and it just hits right into my heart as well. I have to get it. Although everybody is wear it, is wearing it, but there's a reason to that, right? It's classic. It's functional. Although it's like a vintage or like a really classic really mature vibe but somehow it has that mixed um, versatility or potential with this bag where I can pair it with any style of clothing I have on outfit I have on plus when I touch this bag the monogram the material it's definitely like a durable material so I don't need to worry about it being too delicate I can wear it to my grocery shopping but I can also wear it with my like you know more uplifted dressing style so I really love this bag I purchased my last handbag five years ago I've been using this bag for five years it's from Rebecca Minka the gold wear is already out of order like it doesn't clutch uh, close anymore so I guess it's time for me to get another bag I'm not a girl who buys a bag like buys several bags in a year I'm a girl who purchases one bag and use that bag for a few years until it's not no longer working it's totally worn i think this is definitely worth the money um although it, the price tag is a little bit high i still feel you know it's just gonna be really worth it no matter it's the durability the quality the style the design the everything i Plus, it's not that not even that high up among all the Celine bags. It's really entry level. So I love a bag, and I'm really happy I got it. Uh, these are all the things that I purchased from on the NYC trip, and I have several other packages, uh, you know, delivered when I was not home. But here they are. I received another bunch of Chinese PR products. 
from my beloved Chinese makeup brands. Uh, first bunch is Oddity. They have all of these liners and brow pencils and loose powders. So uh, I think they come in all shades, although I don't think I can fit in all shades. I will definitely try them out and give you guys the review. I have this new set of uh, Fude brushes from Fix Plus, where, uh, which I did a review before. Recently, I've been making some Fude brush reviews, including Refer, another Chinese Fude makeup maker. Like the videos will be coming up in a line. It's like a series of Chinese Fude, Fude or other Fude brushes. I just reviewed for the Kiaki brush set 2.0. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go ahead and check that out. And uh, I received some uh, col colorful contacts from this uh, website called Seeky, S-E-E-K-E. -E. This is a Chinese brand or website or platform where they sell all these colorful contacts. If you're like Asian, you know, like colorful contacts will definitely change your pupil color a little bit, twist it a little bit, and make your eyes pop a little bit, you know, more dazzling, more, I don't know, more soulful. <laughs> so if you haven't tried these yet, maybe give it a try. It, it, colorful contacts are not only made for Halloween, okay? There are a lot of beautiful or just really flattering colorful contacts that are made by uh, a lot of Asian brands, Japanese ones, Korean ones, Chinese ones, and I think this web website has it all. Uh, has it all, and they send out like four different pair, uh, boxes. I sent two to my friends, the friend in New York City where uh, I, who I helped her to move out last week in in New York, and she loved them. She chose these blue ones where it pairs with, well with her hair color. And I have these um, natural ones. I think they really is a game up for my makeup, you know. And if you haven't tried out, definitely check out the Siki.com website. And um, I received two pairs of earrings from this brand called Recycle, uh, a Chinese accessory brand. I definitely feel like they are really good quality, even touching from here. And look at this packaging, how sleek is this? And um, I'm just uh, very curious to wear them and see if they were comfortable, stylish. I'll give you updates as always. And I received a foundation from this brand called Lord & Berry. It's made in Italy, interesting, but it's like a Chinese PR who sent me this. I'll definitely do a wear test as well. I have two packages that I purchased myself, of course. The first one, Pat McGrath 10 Moonlight, Moonlit Seduction. This is a really, you know, unexpected palette in terms of how it's formulated. We don't have the classic baked formula anymore in this palette. All the four shades you see on the right hand corner, they're kind similar to those sparkly whatever it is that appeared in last year um holiday mega the odyssey palette they're really shiny and foiled and flattering but their texture is not the big formula so in terms of how they appear to the human eye it's different although they are all very shiny some sometimes the softer softer new formulation is even shinier but it's not the same as the baked formula because the baked formula has that particle. The, uh, how do I say this? It's like, like the dimension of those sparkles. But these ones, they are like more flat. They lack that dimension. I don't know how to describe. Uh, I, I'm not getting my hopes high for this palette, but I'll definitely upload my review video soon, soon, soon. And I also got the uh, newest palettes from Suku. So I ordered from Selfridges. And um, I only got two of the new ones. 117 Akia Re, I don't know. Uh, 11 Yoi Yukari. And I ordered the permanent one, 04, as well. The color, the blush color, I ordered 132. You can see some swatches here. I'll definitely do the reveal so again i have a lot of videos coming up every time i take some time off a break 
I feel like all of my contents and videos are piled up waiting for me to make, to upload, to edit. Anyways, I'll get them done one by one. We'll get there. And that's it guys. That's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed unboxing all of these with me. I hope um, some of them catch, caught your eye or you can let me know in the comments down below. I hope you have a great day. Tomorrow is a new week. Let's start it.